excited to be here. We have a really special show for you today. So we will be kicking it off. We are kicking off October, even though it's the 30th. We are going to kick off October, and we have a special month ahead because we are kicking off Pumpkin Month. Yes, we are. It is going to be Pumpkin Month here at Recipe of the Day. And we are going to kick it off here today. So let me get you guys up here and we'll get started. We are going to be making some pumpkin spice from scratch today. And then we are going to be making some pumpkin raviolis. And then of course a special cocktail to kick off this special month. And here we go. We are going to get you up there. Hold on. I've got technical challenges there. Um, so welcome. We are going to start today. We are going to be making pumpkin raviolis from scratch that we're going to do in a sage brown butter that will be delicious because who doesn't love homemade ravioli? But I did not go to the extreme to make the pasta. I am using these spring roll skins that I had in my freezer from our spring roll day and we will start with those. There we go. There you are. Um, how's it going? Uh, Anne Marie, thanks for watching. So we are going to start with our um, pumpkin ravioli filling. So I'm going to put a couple tablespoons here of butter in our pan that I have back here. I have a pan back there of boiling water to cook our raviolis in. I'm going to start with some butter in the pan here. And then I am going to put in there our can. Actually, I'm going to start with the garlic. I've got about two cloves of, of garlic here that I'm going to put in. Let me grab a utensil here. I always think I have on my utensils my special Gary and Lisa utensil here. So in the butter here I'm going to put our garlic and get that going on. Get that warmed up there and then I will throw our pumpkin in. I have a can. Let's talk about pumpkin. So pumpkin is out everywhere. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that pumpkin was the hot commodity. But Trader Joe's comes through again. Um, when I was at Vaughn's last night getting ready for this, and I have the whole month laid out with awesome pumpkin recipes, but I'm going to need the pumpkin to do them with, right? The Vaughn's was out, and then the manager, I asked him, I said, hey, do you have any pumpkin? And he says, um, no, Rouse just called here saying if we had any pumpkin, and I thought, uh-oh. So I called Trader Joe's, and they had pumpkin, so when I went to the counter with a basket full of pumpkin in my cart, he said, oh, what kind of animals do you have? And I said, what? What do you mean? He goes, oh, people feed the pumpkin to their animals. I said, oh, really? What kind of animals eat pumpkin? <laughs> so who knew? But this month, we are eating pumpkin, and Trader Joe's had pumpkin, so we are good for the month of October for our recipe of the day, Pumpkin Month. So I'm excited. We have a cute giveaway. I'm so excited. Hey, Susan and Rachel and Erin. How are my people? Do you like my pumpkin headband I got for the occasion? I thought it was cute. I thought you guys would like that. So let me get my garlic and my butter because what good recipe doesn't start with garlic and butter? So I'm going to throw my can in here with the garlic and the butter and get it going. Oh my gosh, yum! Pumpkin out of the can would be helpful. Oh, whoops. Pumpkin flying. Pumpkin flying. Oh my goodness. I also had quite an adventure in Bevmo yesterday, getting some specialty things for some yummy pumpkin cocktails. And I thought I would give you guys also some trivia about pumpkin spice. I found a whole thing about Google Analytics and pumpkin spice because you know, Google's counting everything and our pumpkin spice searches. So when do you think the pumpkin spice searches uh, spike? I'll give you guys a second to guess. And the other thing I have a trivia question for you for is what day does Starbucks launch the pumpkin spice latte? Which by the way is the number one search thing for pumpkin spice. But do you know what date they launch their pumpkin spice latte? See when you guys are quick on the Google search. <laughs> but I will tell you, it is August 25th. So I thought that was kind of early. Whoops. Early to be launching it in August. It's like I was in the store yesterday getting my cute look at my holiday decor. A 
and Christmas is already out. It's not even October yet. Um, but I thought we'd kick it off early and get started. So I have my um, pumpkin going there with the garlic and the butter. Just make sure I got everything there. I'm going to do a little bit of salt in that and some salt and then it calls for some chili powder. So I'm going to put a little bit. It calls for half a teaspoon. So I will actually measure because you guys are watching me. So I will measure and we are going to, oh no, quarter of a, tea, of a teaspoon. Good thing I looked. Quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder going in. Okay, whoopsie. There we go. So our salt and our chili powder in there. Ooh, whoops. And then let that go for a minute. That's it. <laughs> yes, so we're just going to cook off a little bit of the excess water out of the pumpkin so we can stuff it in our raviolis. And so that's doing its thing there. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. My pumpkin headband is getting stuck in my decor. Let me taste that really quick before we... Ooh, yum. That's good. I actually think it needs a little more garlic for my taste, but I won't fix that right this, sec this second. So I let that um, cook a little bit more. We are going to do another thing and start making our own pumpkin spice. Because, you know how I like to have my own spice mixes that we make? So I'm going to make our own pumpkin spice that we can use all season long. So in our pumpkin spice, in case you always want to know what's in it, here you go. Here's the insider secret on pumpkin spice. So let me get the lid, the lid off this. We are going to start with, let me get my measurements right here, two tablespoons of cinnamon. And of course they don't make these jars so your measuring spoons fit in them. So when I rule the world and I design the spice jars, your measuring spoons will fit inside the, the jars. How about that? Okay, little simple things, right? But I didn't d design them, so I have to use them the way they are. So two tablespoons of cinnamon. I don't really want to make a huge mess. Go in. And then we are going to do uh, two teaspoons of ground ginger. So I grab the ginger here. We're going to do two teaspoons of this. I love ginger. Love it. I'm going to get this one, two of ginger. A little keeping on the second one just because I love it. So there's the ginger in. And then we have one teaspoon of cloves. So here's the cloves, a teaspoon of cloves going in. And I actually had all these spices that are not past date. Make sure your spices are not past date because they just get less potent. If your spices are starting to get sticky and, and you know they, they stick together and, they're, and they are clumpy, they're toast. Invest in new spices. They last about a year or two, depending on the spice. Another secret is if there's not an expiration date on your spices, they're really old. Throw them away and buy new. <laughs> I don't know what year it was that McCormick started putting um, the date expiration date on the spices, but um, if your spices don't have a date, they're too old. <laughs> and then um, one, this one I have my hand, allspice is one teaspoon of allspice, put that in, and then a half a teaspoon of what's left here would be nutmeg. And that is our homemade pumpkin spice. So one of the reasons I just made this next is because I'm going to put it in my filling because I think it needs a little more zippity doo -dah. And I'm going to put my pumpkin spice in there to zippity doo -dah it up. <laughs> oh yes, my um, pumpkin is getting a, li a little bit drier because we're going to load it into our Ravioli. So let me stir this up here. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin spice. That's it. Yummy. Yes. How are all my people? Give me some hearts. Give me some comments because I love to see who's there watching live. I love it when you guys are live. You guys like my headband. Jill likes it. Thank you, Jill. Hey, Jill, happy birthday to your grandson. I'm so happy you got to go to the party. He's three. How did that happen? Like in a second. Okay, I want to put about half a teaspoon of my pumpkin spice into my pumpkin just to give it a little more zip. And then I will pull that over here and we will make a ravioli. Oh, this is 
getting, yeah, it's drying out beautifully, getting some of the liquid out. warm for this so let me put it in another bowl real quick to cool it down for a second and look at that I happen to have an orange one right there at my fingertips that was really by accident but you can see our filling oh my gosh it smells so good yummy oh my gosh you guys I have been looking at pumpkin recipes for like two months getting ready for pumpkin month so many yummy things it's hard to decide how many things can we make during the pumpkin month? And we're going to make a bunch. Okay, so there's our filling. I'm going to let that cool off for a second. So while that is cooling off, I am going to make our cocktail. Because of course we're going to have a cocktail here. Make a mess here. Um, let me make the cocktail. And then we'll make some ravioli. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make a ravioli first so we can make the cocktail while these are cooking. So I have these um, spring roll skins and I cut them in half. And we are going to take some filling and stick it on one side here. Try and do it in the middle gracefully. Let's see. And then I'm going to, I have a little brush, but you can do this with your fingers too. But I thought it might be nice to try and use the brush when you guys are watching. And I'm going to brush the edge all the way around with just a beaten egg. So I have a beaten egg. Okay. Director wants me over. You guys be able to see. Hi, Instagrammers. How are you guys? Okay, I'm painting the edge, and then we are going to glue it just down with our fingertips. And we're going to press out the air bubbles so they don't explode when I put them in the pan. So I'm going to press the air bubbles around the filling. Okay. And there we go. How cute is that? Ravioli. Check. Now, if you're super ambitious... Don't let me hold you back from making your own pasta dough. Have at it. <laughs> you go and you make your own. And definitely post some photos once you get your own done because I want to see them. So I'm going to paint this on here. What is your favorite Halloween costume that you've ever been? Hey Florence, how are you? See you on there. I have the most awesome costume for this year, the best. So I won't tell you what I'm going to be. You will have to wait and see. Because <laughs> guess what? Halloween's on a Saturday. So you know we'll be here doing the show on Saturday. Can't wait. I have so many fun things in October. Yay. Okay, I'm going to make one more and then I'm going to throw these in the pan and cook them up while we make a little brown butter sauce for these. So this is going to be yummy. Easy, huh? Your friends and family will be so impressed that you made your own pumpkin ravioli. Oh my gosh. Yum! Now if you were fancier than me, you could probably make the edges all cute and fancy if you had a pastry roller that edged pastry roller, you could make these, you know, crimp, crimp the edges, crimp my ride. You can crimp my ravio ravioli. Oh, that's a good idea. Goat cheese. That's a great uh, idea, Carol, to put some goat cheese with this. Yeah, I'm all in on that. Okay, I'm going to hope, because you guys are watching, that my raviolis don't leak. But we will see. <laughs> we will see if today is my lucky live day or not. But I've got them crimped in there. And they look like they're sealed, so I will give it a whirl. What do you think, gang? Let's throw them in there and see what happens. Here we go. Okay. See if they stay. Raviolis. Mostly because you guys are watching. Because I'd probably let them dry for a minute till the egg dried before I threw them in, but hey, we're live. So I'm just going to throw those in there for a couple seconds. So I'm going to do some brown butter in my pan here real quick. Let me rinse this out. I didn't grab another pan. Let's get some butter going in here and brown it up real quick. 
I have all my, I don't know, some days. Where's my dish towel? Who took my towel? Okay, but uh, butter's going in here, and we're going to brown some butter here. I'll throw the rest of this in there, and we will get it going for our sauce. Oh my gosh, make sure I got everything in, the, in there this time. Okay. Yes, we got all that. Da 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 da. We're good. So I've got my butter in there, and we've got our. I'm going to put our fresh. I've got fresh sage here that I just chopped up. I chiffon out of the sage, and I will put that in, in, in there. Oh, my raviolis, they're done. So let me get them out here. Oh, what row? My raviolis. Oh no! Yikes! Okay. Dang. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my goodness. I can't even get them out. Okay. We got our raviolis there. This is probably why they wanted you to use wonton skins and not spring roll skins. These are spring roll skins. Probably not th uh, thick enough, but they came out. You get the idea. And I'm going to um, do my butter and my sage to put on there. And our nuts. So in the meantime, I'm going, while well, our butter, butter is melting, I'm going to let that get going. And while that is go, going, I am going to uh, make our cocktail. So I have so many cool cocktails that I have found that are pumpkin cocktails and so many things that um, uh, go with them. Things I had never heard of, but things that the gal at Bembo has heard of. So we're, we're in luck. One of those things would be just cleaning up my shaker there, get the water out of my shaker. So in my shaker here, I just got some ice, and I'm gonna put in there one heaping teaspoon of pumpkin out of our can, and then to that, I'm gonna put a little bit of honey going in our cocktail, and then I'm gonna put some lime juice, which I just squeezed right here. So I have about a lime's worth of lime juice going in there. And I'm going to put two ounces. Hold on. Sorry about that. Phone right, uh, ringing. We got real estate in full steam, too. So, to that, I'm going to add about two ounces. This is ginger liqueur. How cool is that? So, going in, I'm going to put about two ounces of ginger liqueur. It seems like two ounces, doesn't it? <laughs> and then I'm going to shake this up and we're going to have a pumpkin ginger spiced cocktail. How cool is that? So here we go. ginger floating in the top, but let's give this a taste. Oh my goodness, delicious, delicious pumpkin cocktail. Cheers to pumpkin October. Oh my gosh, that is really good. Of course, if you love gi uh, ginger like I do, yum. Okay, so I have got my butter and sage brown here, so we are going to just use what I've got in, fr in front of me for demo purposes. I'm going to put a little bit of brown bu uh, butter and sage on our ravioli, and then I have some pecans. Now the recipe called for pine nuts. Number one, I'm not a huge pine nut lover. Number two, I didn't have any. So I just took some pecans and I roasted them a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of pecans on there, and then I have some freshly grated, of course. Parmesan cheese in shreds, and we're going to put a little bit of that on there on top. And then I will have my magic hands give that a taste. 
but simple and easy and fun for the kids is what I thought. The kids could um, help you make those ravi raviolis and it would be a fun act activity and the filling would really be um, easy to make and fun to turn it into so to something. Now you could also use the, fil the filling here and just toss it with some pasta. So if you have some spaghetti or some, you know, something else you want to toss it with and do the same thing and throw in a little nuts, a little cheese, and of course I put a little red pepper flake, and boom, an easy pumpkin pasta dish. Okay, we got two big thumbs up from my magic hands, my director, my cute boy that's behind the camera there, um, and I'm just so excited. I've been looking forward to pumpkin month for so long. So our giveaway this month, I have quite a few, I'm so excited, is this cute thing. Look at this, now you've liked or commented on these videos, you are in my pool, but look how cute the, these are. Now, if you're like me, you can carry this as a purse because, you know, I, I could. Look at the top. It has this canvas top that draws strings, so it could be an October purse, especially for those of you that have little kids or little girls. It could be your candy bag for Halloween for the kids to collect their candy in, or it could be a centerpiece which I thought was so cute. It could be a centerpiece on your table um, for Halloween. If you fill it with candy or fill it with flowers or fill it with, you know, little pumpkins. So you guys that are so creative. Like Susan, if you're watching, you could make it, you know, like a succulent garden with a filler in here. But I just thought they were adorable. So this is our giveaway for October. And let's see who our lucky winners are today. Do, 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 do. Okay, remember go to YouTube, I'll post the recipes on YouTube and on here below on Facebook. Our YouTube is Ventura Real Estate. And we appreciate you guys subscribing. We're almost to a thousand, so we're trying to get to a thousand. Okay, Karen Hartwell, winner, winner. I just saw you on the bike path at the beach yesterday. I get to see you next week, so I will bring your lucky prize winner next week. So that is exciting. Karen, you are a winner. So I have another one. I have quite a few of these. My sister is wanting one. I don't know if I have a spare one or not for you, sister. But aren't they cute? Oh, I thought they were so cute, especially as a centerpiece. And then I thought, hey, giveaway for the show. Of course, you might see me carrying mine as a purse. So uh, let's see. Erin Siler, winner, winner. So you and she's got kids and little kids, so perfect for you. Those are my winners of my first round of kickoff pumpkin month winners. My cute give 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 boys. Look at my little pumpkins. I had so much fun. So that's it for today. Pumpkin raviolis with the pumpkin spice homemade. So I am set and ready for my pumpkin spice uh, recipes this month, and then our yummy uh, pumpkin spice ginger cocktail that is really quite delicious. And we will see you Wednesdays and Saturdays, three o'clock. In October, we are doing pumpkin re recipes of all kinds, savory and sweet, and liquid form and solid form. So we appreciate you guys watching. We love being here. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always choose a good one and always do your best. And we look forward to seeing you soon. And remember what we do. We do real estate. GaryandLisa.com, your real estate edge.